How's it going guys? Welcome to the FM Dugout. We are back with Rescue Rangers as tonight it's match day four of our Champions League group stage against CSK Moscow and at the moment we are sitting second in our group stage equal in points with both Borussia Dortmund and Paris Saint-Germain following our uh, win in Russia last time round, a 2-0 win. So it leaves us in a pretty good position at the moment and I kind of did some maths Okay, not really that much maths, but um, if we draw against Moscow tonight, we are still in Europe after the turn of the year, which would be quite an achievement, um, I think, given it's our first time back in this competition. Well, obviously, I've got that kind of greed in my eye and the kind of ambition to do a little bit better uh, following our win against Paris Saint-Germain, so I'm kind of thinking that, you know, I really want to be winning tonight and, um, and seeing where it goes from there, but... Not bad at all. Michael Frey is the top goal scorer in the Champions League at the moment. James Tavernier is the highest assists. I bet you never thought you'd see that. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, that's uh, what's in front of us at the moment. And, you know, it's just good to be back in, in the Champions League and, and kind of testing ourselves against the, the best teams in Europe. Um, but taking a step back from that, there have been some games in Scotland. Uh, two league matches and one in the Cup. Um, as you can see from the league, uh, we've been doing well enough. Um, still only the draw against Partick Thistle and we've won everything else. We're now 8 points clear Celtic, 24 plus goal difference after 11 games. So it's going rather well. Um, let's just take a quick look at those fixtures. So we had Ross County in the Betfred Cup semi-final. A nice, comfortable 3-0. Well, actually, all our games were 3-0. 3-0 here. Tavernier with two free kicks, almost identical. Michael Frey with the other goal, getting us our berth in the final, uh, where we'll be taking on Dundee. And then in our next match, we went to Rugby Park. Uh, James Wilson, an own goal, and Martin Waghorn sealing the three points there. And then Dundee, who were one of our bogey teams last year, ones that we just weren't able to beat, um, certainly consistently. Um, and I changed my formation around a little bit during the game. I went to a 4-3-1-2. Later in the game, I went to a 4-1-3-1-1 formation. Um, as uh, we, We've had a little bit of issues with our, our strikers of late. Um, so I've had to kind of change things around a little bit. And we ended up playing with uh, just the one striker at the end of that match. But uh, goals from Frey and two from Waghorn uh, getting us the points there. And it takes us in for tonight's game against Moscow. Um, as far as the uh, squad's concerned for tonight, we've still got Halmy Dominic, our main goalkeeper, out injured with a fractured arm. So Robbie McCrory continues in goal. But he's now had four games, if you include the Moscow one, with um, a clean sheet. So his, his confidence must be rising somewhat. Uh, certainly it seems to be a good season so far for Michael Frey. Um, are signing from Young Boys Bern and um, I tell you what you know 13 goals 13 games it's not a bad way to introduce yourself to your new club um, certainly he is uh, he's the go-to man whenever we need goals so we'll be looking for him tonight uh, Tavernier's our, our main assist uh, 7.89 average rating for him so a good season for him so far um, but yeah so it's going pretty well um, Transfer front, nothing really happening. I've listed Barry Mackay now, um, which when you look at his stats, you think, why are you doing that? But I don't think he suits playing in the number 10 role in the game. I actually do think he suits it in real life, but in here, um, he, he's a wide player. And uh, I just don't play wide formations at the moment. He's not that happy at the club. Uh, he does want some more game time, so... Kind of putting it all together, I think it's, it's probably the, the right time for him to move on. And, um, you know, you look at some of the players, for instance, how uh, Bartos Ultra's doing, um, are signing who's back on loan at uh, Jag Jagilonia. Um, and he's just coming on leaps and bounds. And I can't wait to actually get him here next season because um, I think he's, he's just going to hit the ground running. And I really am kind of looking at the formation and thinking, well, this year it might be a case of finding the strikers that are going to work for us best and potentially going to a 4-2-3-1 again or a 4-2-4-3-2-1 uh, um, for some games anyway because uh, I think uh, João Felix and Ultra could be a fantastic uh, attacking midfield pairing. 
Anyway, that's uh, kind of getting ahead of ourselves. Uh, tonight, we are taking on CSK Moscow and we are looking to continue our good form in Europe and um, bag ourselves a little bit of money again. So we're at 28.6 million still. We'll get good gate receipt money for tonight. And uh, if we do manage to pull off a win, 1.2 million will certainly uh, not go, um, you know, unwelcome. <laughs> but yeah, so Dortmund against San Germain in the other game. I've kind of thought about how I want that one to go. Not that I really have a say in it, but uh, I would certainly like, I think, um, Dortmund to win. And the reason being that uh, if they do, then San Germain... If they beat us, then they're going to be leveling points with us. And there's always that potential that they might only beat us by one goal. And uh, then that way we're better in the head-to-head. -head. So, yeah, we'll just have to see how it plays out. Again, kind of getting ahead of ourselves. So Moscow going with the expected 4-2-3-1. Going with two defensive midfielders. So I'm kind of looking at things tonight, same way as I did against Dundee, and kind of wondering whether to play uh, more players in the centre of the park. Um, I do like this formation, and th this is the one that I'm, I'm most likely going to go with, because uh, I've already sorted the team out, actually. So that's that's the lineup for tonight. McCrory still playing goals with Mary Cooper as the defensive centre-back pairing. Tavernier, Wallace out in wing-back. Poyet is the defensive midfielder. Benesser, Chalaba has made a return from uh, from injury, so he will be in in midfield. Felix will play in the number 10, wearing number 11. Go figure. Um, with Wilson and Frey up front. Um, so yeah, as I said, striker-wise, Wycorn's coming back from an injury, as is Clough. Bamford also has come back from injury, but because his condition's a little bit higher, he makes the bench for tonight. So I think without any further ado, guys, we'll get on into the match and uh, and see whether or not we can uh, take maximum points from Moscow. Wasn't too impressed by them in our last game, uh, but every game is different. Uh, we're favourites for this, are we, really? Um, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Uh, all right, there we go. I uh, do we want to go attacking? We'll start off with control. We'll see how it plays out, and um, if I feel we're not creating enough, then we'll we'll probably go attacking. But uh, Moscow shooting from left to right, getting us underway. Vitinho charging forward, stopped by Chalaba, and uh, Wilson now running into a sea of the black jerseys, picking out free. Not much support there, goes back to Chalaba. Felix goes wide to Wallace. Could we get an early chance here? 30 seconds on the clock, Wallace with the cross. And, uh, well, it was nearly an FM special. I keep going on about that, but it doesn't really happen that often to me now. Uh, Felix with a corner here, played deep into the box, headed away. Benacer picks up the loose end. Cuts inside to Tavernier, just inside the Moscow half, forward to Frey, knocked down to Wilson, goes wide to Wallace, takes it down, two men on him, cuts it back into Frey, edge of the box, and the shot was blocked. Knowing Frey, that was probably heading, certainly on target, whether it was going to go in or not, I don't know, um, but the deflection, taking it wide for a corner, and that's not a good corner from Felix, and it's dealt with easily. Tavernier will pick it up by doubt. Yeah, there's no highlight coming off the back of that. Good sign here. Early pressure from us. Um, Chalaba getting dispossessed there rather too easily. Falling over. And Panchenko now comes forward. Zagov to Eremenko. Inside to Vitinho. Will he go outside or will he go himself? He goes himself. Gets a shot on target and McCrory makes the save. And um, I just kind of remembered there... Uh, no, that's not the one. This is the one I'm looking for. I want Poyet to watch their number 10. Uh, for about doing that at the start of the game. I just want to mark him out of the game. Jack Thompson actually did a really good job over in, in Russia, I think. Uh, he kept him quiet. I mean, he didn't play magnificently well, but he did a, a pretty solid job. We're not really doing much in this game going forward, uh, so I'd like to see us do a little bit more, so let's change the mentality to attacking and, and commit some more bodies forward, as uh, 
Felix drops deeper to pick up the ball. Wilson back to goal looking for Tavernier. Cut out by Shenikov. Mari with the header away from Panchenko. Poyet not doing that well competing for the ball. Tozic breaking forward, cutting inside and a wild effort from him. So 60 minutes on the clock now. Now Moscow having the, the larger number of chances. Uh, we did have that nice little spell first four minutes or so but Moscow now starting to come into it. Uh, Cooper with a header away. Benesser already in the yellow. Uh, Felix skipping by his man but plays it back to Poyet. Uh, Tavernier is looking for the ball out wide right. Wallace presumably is looking the same on the left. Felix dispossessed by Gazinski. Panchenko loses out to Chalaba. This is the chance here. Wilson to free. Now they're getting the bodies back too quickly. Wilson with the effort. Jeez, oh. Where did that come from? Hey, that was a real daisy cutter. I actually looked like he side footed it. You couldn't generate that much power playing a side footed shot. Uh, Felix with the corner. The header is there. Back post free. Surely handballed that. It certainly looked like he took it with his hand. Chalaba now. Edge of the box. Goes down. Shot comes in from Benacer. Gets blocked. We're struggling to get any kind of clear cut chances here. Moscow doing a good job of getting men behind the ball and denying a space. And 21 minutes on the clock. And it's still no no. As I say, a no no draw, or a draw of any kind will keep us in Europe. So I kind of got to look at it objectively if, if that happens. Uh, obviously, do want to avoid a defeat because that really nullifies the, the win over in Moscow. Um, as Panchenko now comes forward, not getting closed down. Benesser cuts across and wins it back. Frey inside. Slack play from him there. And the ball goes forward looking for Panchenko. Again, Mari winning it. Felix winning the header. Wilson to Frey. Not getting the numbers up quickly enough here. And surely go wide to Tavernier or Wallace. We do go wide to Wallace, but it gets cut out by the left uh, right back. And still trying to work that chance. Wilson now, 25 yards from goal, goes wide to Tavernier. Plays it in towards the penalty box. And Free with the header, and it's in. 22 minutes on the clock. Michael Free, 14th goal of the season. And um, I'm pleased to see that we've taken a chance. It's always vital in Europe to take these chances when they come along. And uh, Free has done it there. And it looks like a misjudged jump from the, the centre back there. And Freeze managed to just capitalise on that and put it home. So it's looking okay so far. 30 minutes gone. And hopefully we can uh, keep it going to half time, maybe add to it, get a second goal. As Tozic here with the free kick. Headed away this time by Frey doing defensive duties as well just as well as his attacking and the effort there was picked up by McCrory and he sent it up long down the park looking for Wilson it's a bit of a scrappy affair here in uh, the Moscow half certainly getting the numbers back and just flooding us out um, hopefully the game will open up a bit more if they have to attack and we can hit them on the counter Chalaba finds Wallace, knocks it on to Wilson, Frey was he offside? Doesn't matter, he puts it wide of the post and really probably should have opened up the body and, and put it in at the far post. Uh, but he went for power at the near post. And a bit of a wasted opportunity in the end. 59% possession here are doing fairly well. 9 out of 9 tackles, not too bad at all. And yeah, I was looking at the team. There's a few players maybe not playing that well. Wilson at 6.6 .6 at the moment. Um, Wilson's actually been really quite good uh, generating goals. He's been quite good with assists. Uh, but will he get a chance to score here? And he does. Right footed effort. Low to the keeper's left. 2 1. 2 1. 2 0 now on the 40, 41st minute. And. <sighs> Yeah, we needed that. He took a step back there to beat the offside trap. 
and uh, he's taken that well and we should go into the break 2-0 up and looking rather good for the win at the moment things can change pretty quickly uh, so I certainly won't be uh, getting complacent and thinking we've won as uh, Panchenko now breaking forward Vitinho, the obvious target for him picks him out goes for Tozic, the overlap is there from the full back it's, he's been picked out, Nabakin cuts it inside, Gazinski with the effort and what a save from McCrory that was acrobatic dive and the one handed save for a corner I'll tell you what, if he comes through this game as well, two games in Europe with clean sheets as well as three games at home, um, he'll be absolutely delighted with the, his, his run of games. I'm not going to say it's going to be difficult for Dominic to get back in because he is the number one keeper, but uh, oh, on yourself, Wilson, just taking the whole team on yourself. Benacer could have taken a touch there or at least had a controlled shot. Um maybe try and showboat a little bit there maybe I can chop 5 million off the asking price by Arsenal now for that shocking miss uh, right I think we'll just go with Cam things have been going well so there's no real need to, to kind of shake things up at half time we'll just continue as we've been going hopefully we can add to our goal tally and really give ourselves that kind of safety net and uh and see us through to the, the nine point mark after four games, which is absolutely fantastic. Really, just haven't been expecting it. Um, but we're really lucky, actually, in a way, we've got Moscow for the double header. And if it had been Dortmund or Paris Saint Germain, you know, you might not have come through it with, um, you know, a chance of getting six points. But here we are with Tavernier with a free kick. It was pretty much the area where he scored those two goals against Ross County, but uh, unable to put the ball in the top right corner this time. And we're looking pretty solid at the moment. Another free kick out in the left here. Tavernier going for the cross this time. Cooper will pick up the rebound. And just looking for him to get the ball away without losing it. Chalabon out. Simple pass to Wallace Point now forward to Felix, lays it off to Frey, Frey with the effort from range and not going to trouble the goalkeeper with that. I don't think there's any need to change the formations or personnel at the moment or the mentality, I think. We're in control of the game, as long as it remains this way, um, we should be sort of in a good position. Felix with the corner, cleared only partially but Eremenko picks it up, Wilson just ran back to his normal position rather than actually closing down Eremenko. It's pretty disappointing. Vitinho now, this is potentially dangerous. Into the box, left-footed effort. Pretty weak in the end. And McCrory with the comfortable save. And 62 minutes. Starting to sort of look towards the subs bench just to get a little bit of energy in midfield. But the midfield have been playing fairly well tonight as Frey gets the ball over the top to Wilson in between the two centre-backs on his favoured left foot and he's put it over the bar a great opportunity there for the killer third goal and we haven't taken it will we regret that later on Tozic with the corner headed away at the front post by Chalaba back to Tozic again drills it in and that effort from Eremenko was not too far away um, it just needs one goal for Moscow to make this a really, really nervy finish. Um, so I would ideally like to see us put that final nail in the coffin for Moscow's, uh, well, certainly any hopes of them qualifying uh, for the Champions League knockout stages, but um, I suppose they, they potentially could still finish third, depending on how the results have gone elsewhere. Um, Right, here we go. Cooper forward to Benacer now. Into Wilson, wide to Wallace and lots of space. Takes a touch to control. In towards the back post. Wilson with a header back across the face of goal. Frey nods it down. Chalaba back in at the back post. Benacer with a header and it's in. 3 0 now. I didn't expect Benacer to score with a header. Um, that really didn't look like there was a goal coming there. Wilson keeping it in play really well. Frey with the header down to Chalaba. Into the back post. And Benacer with the header across the face of goal. 
the more difficult option I would have said and he puts it away for 3 now. and surely that will um, that will give us the points tonight uh, <coughs> he says with a uh, an air of trepidation in his voice <laughs> as Moscow come forward from the uh, the kickoff there and Tozic with a shot put out by Cooper with a corner kick. Yeah, um, I might actually kind of tempted to go down to key highlights now that we're three 0 up here. Um, just conscious of the fact these episodes are getting really quite long. Um, there's a lot going on in these games. Sometimes you get extended highlights and there's hardly anything that happens at all, but it's, uh, it's non-stop action here at the moment. Pinchenko with the effort, not troubling McCrory, although he did. He did think about it. He had to dive. And, uh, right, Chalaba's having a really good game, but he's tiring a bit. And Felix at 6.9. But you look at the body language. I think I could probably take Felix off uh, for somebody. <laughs> Thompson. We'll go with Thompson there. Um, it's not going to make a massive difference. But, you know, ideally I would look to, to give Chalaba or Benacer a bit of a break um, in midfield as they're, they're kind of tiring out. And Chalaba certainly didn't have his, his match sharpness up to scratch. But... So having that good a game, um, I really don't want to disrupt things too much in the centre of the park. Uh, oof, wild challenge there. Is that Benacer jumping in like that? Yeah, it was. <laughs> and Tozic now. Fatinho inside the box. McCrory with a save. This man will not be beaten. He wants his fifth clean sheet in a row. And 12 minutes remaining and Tozic will get the corner here. Headed away by Benacer at the front post. Tozic happy to just let it go for the throw in. And four clear cut chances for us tonight. I'm quite impressed at how many um, chances we've managed to create. But, you know, we've taken three. Um, cannot complain. Oh, jeez. Three now to Saint Germain and Dortmund. Um, that isn't going the way I expected. So, definitely going to have to look to. Um, to take three points off of Dortmund at home. I think San Germain might have bucked their ideas up a little bit away from home. It's certainly putting that 2 0 win in a completely different light now. Um, but that's it for us for this game. Superb from the players. Ben Asser picking up man in the match, an assist and a goal, and a yellow card uh, to boot. So 8.8. .8. Just looking across the team there, a pretty solid performance all round. Um, very, very pleased with that. And um, that will leave us top of the group, actually, I think, because we've beaten Sanderman in the head-to-head. -head. So let's just have a quick look at this. i got to see this. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Um, yeah. So the next game is against Dortmund, which is absolutely huge. Um just trying to work it out in my head here. If we draw against them, then they can still finish above us for the head-to-head. -head. That was the reason why I wanted um, San Germain to lose, actually, against Dortmund there. Because uh, we'd already beaten them. So really, yeah, a win against Dortmund will see us through. And um, I think that's what we have to aim for. I really do I think that's um, that's got to be the target. Uh, have you seen there? Dominic on five clean sheets as well. Oh, that's going to count our, uh, I just realised that's obviously going to count our qualification. Duh. Um, but yeah, all right. That's it for um, for this episode anyway. So as I said before, I think I'll come back for a double header against Celtic and Dortmund in the next episode. I, I don't think anyone's going to want to see a triple one with Cali Thistle. Uh, or Dundee on the either side. Well, actually, Dundee, we, we probably should do that because it's Betfred Cup final time. Um, I may be calling for a triple. I think we'll do a triple. I didn't do it the last time. And you guys said you wanted to see it. So we'll go for an old firm league match. We'll go for a potential decider in the Champions League and a League Cup final. Um, 
and then Paris Saint-Germain after I'm not going to do a quadruple episode that's just going to be a bit ridiculous in fact do you know what I'll split it into two and two we'll do Celtic and Dortmund in one Dundee and Saint-Germain in the other uh, just helps to keep the video size down a little bit um, but yeah things are going rather well at the moment hopefully you guys are still enjoying the series let me know what you think on the series as a whole and uh, and our campaign in Europe in particular um, certainly the results this year look pretty fantastic apart from that one little blip there in the middle um, but can we keep it going that's the big question um, I get the feeling at some point the rotation that I'm doing is, is going to come back to, to bite me in the backside um, but yeah We'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, I'll see you when I see you.